Today, an apparent stunning admission by former President Trump. In a press release, Donald Trump stating that he wanted former President Vice President Mike Pence to overturn the election. Several congressional and state investigations into the former president are underway. In New York, an investigation for possible financial misconduct by the Trump Organization. And in Atlanta and on the federal level, probes into possible election-related crimes stemming from his efforts to overturn the 2020 election. Over the weekend, Trump speaking to his supporters in Texas, calling on them to rally in major cities around the country if prosecutors in D.C., Georgia, or New York take action against him. The same kind of call to action that critics say led to the deadly January 6th attack. I hope we are going to have in this country the biggest protest we have ever had in Washington, D.C., in New York, in Atlanta. Trump saying if he runs and wins in the next presidential election, he'll consider offering pardons to some of the people convicted of storming the Capitol, claiming they've been treated unfairly. ABC News reporting more than 700 people have been charged with crimes related to the attack, with at least 40 other individuals charged with conspiracy. Republicans on Capitol Hill trying to distance themselves from Trump's words. No, I don't want to send any signal uh, that it was okay to defile the Capitol. GOP Senator Susan Collins, who voted to convict Trump for inciting the Capitol attack during his second impeachment trial, not completely ruling out supporting a Trump presidential run in 2024. Well, certainly it's not likely, given the uh, many other qualified candidates that we have that have expressed interest in running. So it's very Senator unlikely. The House committee investigating the January 6th attack on the Capitol is continuing its investigation. Now subpoenaing 14 people they say tried to falsely declare themselves state electors for Trump in seven battleground states he lost. The DOJ also announcing they're conducting a criminal review of the matter. Ike Ajachi, ABC News, Washington. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.